why I like using devices from other manufacturers other than Samsung. Now, let me make this clear, and I'm going to say this right from the beginning. I'm definitely a Samsung Knight. Do I like everything Samsung does? Absolutely not. Are there a lot of things that Samsung could do better? Absolutely. But I'm just not pro Samsung. Like, I'm not just going to use just their devices because there are plenty other devices and manufacturers that make devices that are better, that do things better than Samsung. That's just a fact. Now, you don't have to agree with that. <laughs> it don't matter. OK, I know there are people that are pro Apple. They everything Apple, nothing else but Apple pro Samsung, nothing else but Samsung. Say the Google Pixel, they just pro Pixel. Everybody has their preference when it comes to manufacturers that produce smartphone devices. I have a problem with that. <laughs> your preference is your preference. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, but real techies like myself, I like to venture out to other things because there are other things out there than just the same old thing over and over again. And really nothing is improving that much except the prices are going up. So I like different devices, especially other devices that's going to offer me either either at least the same stuff I'm getting or even more and doing certain things a whole lot better. And I like versatility. You know, some of these other devices have are more versatile than that of Samsung. Now, Samsung still is my favorite operating system. They have the best software on Android, in my opinion. Some people will prefer a stock Android. I'm not a stock Android guy. Because I'm the type of, type of person that likes uh, OS that has a lot of features. And I could really um, customize my device any way that I want. And Samsung allows me to do that now i'm not saying there are not other manufacturers out there that you can you know that are not highly customizable os's but i'm saying samsung to me is the most customizable os on the market in my opinion and just based on my experience with um as you can see all these different devices that are from different manufacturers there is not one samsung device on this table now the reason why i said earlier i'm a samsung like i have almost 15 samsung devices i have more stuff from samsung than i do any other manufacturer so i'm definitely a samsung knight i love samsung devices like i said their os is my favorite but i still like other manufacturers and i like to try different things pretty much everything i have on this table except for maybe i would say maybe one device that you that you'll see that i'll see somebody else have in the street only one anybody have any idea what that no i'll say two only two devices on this table that you may see somebody else have in the street can anybody guess what that would be i'm gonna tell you <laughs> the pixel 6 pro the lg v60 that's it and i'm talking about in the united states in this country i'm not talking about overseas because of course, overseas is way more people, <laughs> way more different countries and things like that. So more than likely, I would see all types of devices because there's certain devices that are not sold in the U.S. like Vivo. You can't get Vivo through a carrier here. Same thing as Xiaomi. You can't get that through a carrier here. You just can't. You know, I don't even know is a Asus. You can get that through a carrier. I don't know. Not to my knowledge anyway. Now, you can with OnePlus, of course. You can get that through a carrier. But most of these are not. You can't get them through a carrier. So I don't go through carriers. I go right on Amazon or eBay, buy what I want, put my SIM card in, just start using it. As long as I know it'll work on the carrier that I have. I have T-Mobile, AT&T, and um, yeah, those are the only two I have. Yeah, AT&T and T-Mobile. And, and, and most of all of these will work with T-Mobile. And, you know, some of these are just AT&T devices. But let's talk about it real quick. Now, what I have here on the table, I got one plus um, devices. Well, one, just one. I got two LG devices, the Wing and the LG V60, the Asus ROG5, the Vivo X Note, the Mi 10 Pro, the Mi 11 Ultra, the Google Pixel 6 Pro, and the Redmi Note 11 Pro. 
All right, so let's talk about these now. I'm going to do this, um, you know, one manufacturer at a time, and I'm going to let you know why I prefer using this particular device, these particular devices over that of Samsung. Now, I like I said before, if, for those of you that follow me, that are subscribed to my channel, Sam, the, the Note 20 Ultra never comes out of my pocket. My main SIM card goes in my Note 20 Ultra that never comes out because there are certain Samsung features and things on the Samsung that's built into the Samsung um, operating system that I need. So that Samsung will never, ever come out of my pocket. But as far as secondary devices, these are all the ones that I use. Now, all of these are not in my rotation, and I'll let you know that as we go along. So let's get started. All right. First, I want to talk about Xiaomi devices, why I prefer using uh, Xiaomi devices. Let's talk about it. So you got this Mi 11 Ultra, okay? Now, IR Blaster, that matters to me. That's a universal remote control. Super fast, wired, wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging, okay? 67 watts of wired, wireless, and 10 watt reverse wireless charging. That completely obliterates anything Samsung is doing even right now with the S23 Ultra. They only capped out at 45. I'm getting 67 with this, okay? All right, next, great button placement. The button placement on this device is excellent. It's right here. My thumb is right here. I, there's no stretching. The volume rockers are right above it. I mean, excellent button placement. Next, this device is fast and smooth. It really is. It's, it's super fast and super smooth, no doubt about it. And you can see how beautiful the display is. I have zero, I've had zero issues with this phone from day one. Zero issues. It's fast and super smooth, as you can see. So no issues when it comes to that. I love this device. Great dual stereo speakers. The speakers on here, and I like the fact that you got it on the top and you got one on the bottom, and also none in the earpiece, and they they put out equally. Um, they put out the equal sound of um, equal sound. Sorry, equal sound. So there's not more sound coming out the bottom than the top, like most of the devices I have. No, it's just as loud on the top as it is at the bottom. These are some of the best speakers I have out of all of these devices. This is this is up there at the top. I mean, these speakers are just excellent on here. Then you got excellent build quality. Now, with, now, I have a case on here because I always put cases on my devices, but this has a ceramic back and you don't understand how good ceramic feels in your hand until you actually use a device that, that has a ceramic back. You don't understand it. Now, it has Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, but this is the most premium feeling phone that I have in my whole arsenal. Now, it's, now unfortunately, ceramic is also slippery, but... If, you know, everybody's hands are different. Like, sometimes my hands are moist, sometimes they're dry. But I, I know it's easier for me to manage this phone in a case than it is without it. But the times when I'm home and I take the case off and I just want to feel the phone, this is the best feeling phone that I have. And I got a lot of great phones with a lot of great builds. But this is number one when it comes to build quality because of that ceramic back. Innovation. <laughs> Right there, baby. Secondary display. Right there. That's innovation. Why? Because not only do you have the time, the date, your battery percentage, but you could also control your media. You can also get... Um, whoop, I didn't mean to start that. See? You can control your media, get your notifications, take photos, videos, answer and reject phone calls, all with this secondary display. No gimmick when it comes to this. That's innovation. There's still no phones in the market right now that has a secondary display on the back of their phone, except I would say maybe the, um, I say the, the, the Asus, I think seven, I think it has like a little display right here on the, um, on the back of it, but it doesn't do what this display does. So it's really not the same. You can, you get your notifications and stuff, but that's pretty much it. It shows you a charging thing. But this does way more. When I said take photos and videos and answer and reject phone calls, this is a real secondary display. And I don't know 
why Xiaomi veered away from this and won't put this on any of their newer smartphones. I don't understand that because this was a genius of an idea and more companies should adopt this. No question about that. Next, 120 times zoom on this camera. This camera has more zoom than any other camera on this table. They, this, I don't even know if there's any other manufacturer out there right now that's doing 120 times zoom. I don't know, but this zoom is crazy. Next, excellent biometrics. The face unlock on here is one of the fastest face locks I have on any device. Now, the fingerprint sensor is not as good as it should be. It's not trash, but it could be better. So, But overall, the biometrics is excellent on this device. Also, a good presentation. What I mean by that, you get actually a case and a charging brick in the box. Unlike Samsung, that don't give you anything. Next, the vivid and bright display. The display is beautiful. 1700 nits peak brightness and 120 hertz refresh rate. Quad HD display. Beautiful. Love it. You're getting excellent audio quality. Excellent. When you plug in, now don't have headphone jack, which, you know, is a downfall for me. But when you plug in at, in the USB type C port at the bottom, you're going to get excellent sound out of this phone i mean it's just it has a um a DAC on here and it, it, it sounds awesome i love it you're also going to get great cameras great cameras i mean these cameras are no joke back here <laughs> they're excellent and when you go into the camera section of this phone it's just there's just so much stuff in here that you can do with this phone so many options i mean it's just it just blows me away how excellent this camera is now also it has really good features and it's highly customizable and the last thing this this device has excellent battery life that's the mi 11 ultra now i could say the same for the mi 10 pro now this is not turned on excellent button placement excellent display excellent performance excellent um uh, biometrics excellent build I mean, runs like a champ. I mean, this 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 phone is excellent. Nice build on the back with this, uh, not ceramic, but it's a frosted back, but it's, it has an excellent build. The speakers are excellent, super loud, high quality sound. Battery life is great on this. I love Xiaomi phones, IR Blaster. This was my first Xiaomi phone, the Mi 10 Pro. That was my first Xiaomi phone. And I was always, I was wondering when they were gonna, you know, what they were going to do with their next iteration. And that's when they came with the Mi 11 Ultra. And this has been my number one Xiaomi phone, period. And I know Xiaomi has had the, the 12 Ultra, the 13 Ultra, the 14 Ultra. In my opinion, still not better than this device because of that secondary display. And also with Xiaomi, for some reason, they reduced the wireless charging. Remember, on here is 67 wired and wireless but with all the new xiaomi phones far as fat um far as the um premium devices you know the uh, flagship devices they reduced the wireless charging down to 50 watts i don't know why but you're not getting 67 watts of wireless charging on any of the new flagship xiaomi phones none of them now this is another xiaomi phone here the red note the red um the redmi note 11 pro Love this 108 megapixel camera, a huge 5,116 60 milliamp hour battery and get two days of battery life. JBL speakers on here, which are excellent, excellent audio, excellent display 1080p, but it's excellent. IR blaster headphone jack. Yes, that's a headphone jack right there. Headphone jack. You're getting um expandable storage up to 512 so you're getting the real the full package the only thing this thing is missing for me is always on display and wireless charging 67 watt super fast wired charging this is a budget phone we're talking about right here budget phone no bezels a super teeny camera front facing camera that you can't see right now because of the wallpaper excellent biometrics as far as face unlock you got your side mounted fingerprint sensor that's just super super crazy fast you just tend the slightest tap and you see how fast it comes on the face unlock is excellent 
You raise the weight, boom. <laughs> this is a budget phone. This phone costs less than $250. But another Xiaomi phone, that's excellent. And I love this. I use this every single day. All right, so let's talk about OnePlus devices. Now, I got the OnePlus 8 Pro. I also have the 7T Pro. I like that because it's completely bezel-less and it has the pop-up selfie camera, which I like. But for some reason, I'm not able to get inside that phone. It won't respond to any of my pin codes and all the pin codes. I only use three different type of pin codes and it won't respond to none of them. I can't unlock the phone, so I don't even know how to get into that phone to do anything with it which is unfortunate, but I always liked that phone because of the pop-up selfie and the completely bezel-less display, no punch holes, no notches, no nothing on the um, display. But here I just have the 8 Pro, which I love a lot. It has very good biometrics, excellent face unlock. Now, great build quality to start with. I got a case on it, but the build quality is great. A little slippery for me, but it feels good in the hand. Great, uh, very good biometrics. The fingerprint sensor, little suspect, but the face unlock is excellent. Great displays. And the thing that I like about this display the most is the motion graphic smoothing. I can't say that enough. Let me turn the volume always down. I don't even know if y'all gonna be able to tell, honestly. Hold up. I don't even know if y'all gonna be able to tell, honestly, when I do this. I, let me, oh, I keep forgetting. They always put the volume on the left. You know, one of the last companies that, that put the the volume rockers on the left. So let me play. Let me see if I can find. Okay, let me put this on. All right. Now, you're going to be looking at, see, see that turning on motion graphics smoothing? Now, it just gets super smooth and more crisp and more realistic looking like you're almost, like you're almost there. Like, I, I can't explain. I don't even know if you could really see it through my camera but i'm just telling y'all <laughs> it this is i enjoy watching content on here more than any other device i just wish this device was a little wider but when you watch video content on here with that motion graphic smoothing it just takes this display to a whole nother level whole nother level so i mean i don't really i hope you can be able to tell through the uh camera but i don't know if you'll be able to but i'm telling you <laughs> And the thing about it, I don't know why OnePlus took this away from their other devices. Like, that's something they should have left on here. It's something that really separated them from other uh, devices. But, you know, sometimes manufacturers make dumb decisions. All right. Next, this phone also have great dual stereo speakers. They sound really, really good. Super smooth performance. <laughs> Anybody that know about OnePlus devices know that their devices are fast and super smooth. No question about it. <laughs> I love that. If you like OnePlus, you already know that. You're not going to have no issue when it comes to performance with their device because they're super fast and they're super smooth without a doubt. No doubt about it. Very, very responsive. Okay. All right. Also, super fast wired and wireless charging. And also, this one has reverse wireless charging now for some reason. Now, OnePlus don't want to put wireless charging on their devices. They don't want to put reverse wireless charging on their devices because they're 120 um, watt charger or their 80 watt charger or 67 watt charging wired is enough. Look, people like the convenience of wireless charging. Everybody just don't want wired charging. I mean, wired charging is cool and it's nice that you can, you know, charge your phone in a, you know, in a real hurry when you need to. But it's nothing like having the convenience of wireless charging, especially when you're going to charge somebody over a thousand dollars and you're not going to give me a flagship feature like wireless charging. It's, that's unacceptable to me. Just like the OnePlus Open, it's a beautiful device, awesome looking device. All the thing I'm hearing about it is great reviews, but not having a wireless charging for a $1,700 device that's clearly a flagship device, but no wireless or reverse wireless charging, that is unacceptable. And it shouldn't be. That's why I'm going to keep this because this has everything that I want on it, except expandable storage and a headphone jack. Other than that, this has everything that a flagship phone should have. Next, the battery life on here also is excellent. Excellent battery life, a day and a half, easy, 
no, with moderate to heavy, no problem. Next, the cameras on here are excellent. I did a full review. As a matter of fact, I did a full review on all these phones. So you can check out my full review on each one of these uh, devices. But the, I love the camera quality and video quality of the OnePlus 8 Pro. It is great. Also, you get that, um, was it on this side or this side? Yeah, you get that alert slider. Where is it at? I think it's, yeah, it's right here. You get that alert slider. And there's people that like the alert slider. Now, I don't use it. I always keep my phones on vibrate 365. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. But for those of you that actually, you know, want, you know, you like to have that, be able to put your phone where you can hear it, put your phone on um, silent or vibrate. You have that option. A lot of people like the alert slider. Me, like I said, I like that I have it, but it's not something I have to have. Next, great audio quality. So when you plug in your headphones on this, you're going to get very good audio quality. At least for me, sounds great. Love it. Next, the presentation. OnePlus is always giving nice presentations with their devices. Always get your nice red box, red cables um, in the charger in the box, case in the box. Always gave you a nice presentation. I got a nice presentation uh, with this device here. So I love that. And also next, you got good, you, there's good features on here and it's customizable. Unlike the Google Pixel, which is not a very, um, you know, it's just not a very customizable device to be, um, you know, the Android, you know, and uh, the person that started Android. But I love the OnePlus A Pro, not necessarily just this phone, but I, I've always had a lot of respect for OnePlus devices and what they offer, they was always, you know, in the beginning giving you flagship, you know, flagship specs at a much cheaper price, undercutting, you know, the other companies like Samsung and Apple and all of them and LG. But they've always had excellent performance, excellent battery life. And with this one, they finally gave you a great display, quite HD, um, IP68 water dash resistance. You basically got the full full package with this oneplus 8 pro and i i like oneplus devices so that's the reason why i like using oneplus devices now let's talk about vivo devices now i'm gonna take this case off real quick because it completely <laughs> covers up the phone you can't see really see it at all this bad boy is one of my favorite <laughs> phones to use i love the build quality i love the design now i just wish you had a secondary display here to fill in this space i just wish it had that but you do with the build quality you have these ridges on the side they give you extra grip when you're trying to hold this now i wish it was a little thicker but it still is very comfortable in the hand so the build quality i love love the design excellent button placement button placement is right here this is a big phone this is a seven inch display it's the biggest tallest and widest display that i had you know phone that i have on this table okay buttons excellent button placement excellent biometrics <laughs> absolutely i mean the fingerprint sensor is absolutely flawless and it's fast and you get haptic feedback you get different animations you could change i love it with the face unlock it's like one of the fastest face unlock and one of the most smoothest ones that as you can see here, I'm behind the camera and it's doing this. You can't do this with a Samsung device. You can't. Like the face unlock on Samsung devices work probably like 95% of the time for me. This works 100% of the time for me and even in pitch black darkness. Great dual speakers on here. They sound great. Super fast wired wireless and reverse wireless charging. 80 watt wired charging. This is the fastest charging phone that I have. The wireless charging is 50 watts and the reverse wireless charging is 10 watts, all faster than Samsung. And this was cheaper than Samsung devices. I don't figure I, I don't I just wish they sold these devices in this country because if they did, Samsung would definitely have to do better than what they're doing. Great audio. When you plug in your headphones, you're going to get great audio with this device. No question about it. Excellent display. You got a quad HD display, 120 hertz refresh rate, 1500 uh, nits peak brightness. Love that. 
This thing has great cameras. I'm telling you, check out my full review for this device. You'll see, and when you check out the camera and video quality, then you'll understand. The cameras on here are phenomenal, just phenomenal. They right up there with my Mi 11 Ultra. Those are probably the two best camera phones I have. Google's good, but I think these are better, honestly. All right, next, excellent battery life. 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I can get two days of battery life on this phone with moderate to heavy, and that's with 100% brightness, which I all my phones at 100% brightness, always on display on 24 seven and getting all my notifications in in real time. I be having everything in full blast mode. So two days, love the battery life on this device. It is a beast. This phone also comes with an alert slider also. Now, let me see if it's, I think it's on this side. Yeah, here it is right there. So it has an alert slider on it too as a bonus. Love that. IR Blaster, universal remote control, something that Samsung don't have on their devices. Neither one of these things they have on their devices. Uh, next thing, super fast and silky smooth performance. No doubt about it. Man, when I'm, uh, you know, opening and closing things on here and it's as, as uh, responsive and smooth. Oh, sorry about that. I mean, this is just crazy how fast and smooth this phone is like. You'd have to use this phone to understand how smooth it is. This is by far the smoothest device that I have. Coming in second would be the Mi 11 Ultra and then my OnePlus. Samsung ain't touching this phone when it comes to smoothness. Maybe the S23 Ultra, but definitely not my Note 20 Ultra. Not even close. Next, excellent presentation. Now, the presentation that I um, got from this phone was the best that I've had in years. You got such a nice box. It open and the, you slide the thing open like a drawer. You got uh, earbuds in there. Yes, earbuds. You got the case and you got the 80 watt charger in the box. Check out my first impressions and unboxing of, of this device, and you'll understand what I'm saying. Next, highly customizable. So many things you could change with this OS. So many things. Like it's almost exhausting. Like somebody wanted me to go more in depth with the settings. I can. Most people are not going to watch that full video because people just don't have the patience now to, to really sit, sit still and watch anything for a long period of time. But I'm still going to do it because that um, person, I don't know if they're a subscriber, but they asked me to do it and I'm going to do it. It's going to take a minute. Like it may take at least maybe 20 or 30 minutes. I may, I'll try to speed it up if I can, but it's just so many things you can do with the OS on this device. And next and last thing, it starts at 256 gigs of internal storage, not 128 like Samsung do. 256 to start. I like that. I like that a lot. So that's why I like Vivo devices. This is the only Vivo device that I have currently. I'm going to get some more in the future, no doubt about it. But the next manufacturer I'm trying to get my hands on is uh, 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 Oppo. I want an Oppo device. Next, let's talk about Google devices. Now, everybody know when you hear about the Google or the Pixel, it's all about the camera number one. I mean, that's most people, the camera number one and then stock Android number two. That's why most people buy this phone. At least that's what I believe. Now, with me, with this phone, excellent build quality. I love when I take this case off and just hold the phone, it just feels so good in the hand, so comfortable. It's built real well. Gorilla Glass Victus on the front. It has a great design. This is still my favorite design on Pixel devices, not the 7 and definitely not the 8. The 8 is better, but I still like that this is all blacked out except for your flash. And I wish it was all blacked out, but I still just prefer this, this design look over that of the newer iterations of the Pixel devices. Very good dual stereo speakers. Not the best, but they, they're good. They're adequate and they're pretty loud. You get a great display. Of course, you're getting um, um, a quad HD display. You're getting a quad HD display. Beautiful display, no doubt about it. Not the brightest, only 777 nits peak brightness. But, you know, if you use it indoors, you're not going to have an issue with it. Now, when you go outside and you're in direct sunlight, you may have a problem. It's not the brightest phone. Not even... It's not even gets up to a thousand nits peak brightness. That's why I'm intrigued about the A Pro 
because I believe that one is 2,800 nits peak brightness. So even though I'm not going to use all 28, like that's just crazy. I, but the fact is it has almost 3,000 nits brightness is crazy. I never thought Google would go from this low to that high. I really didn't. That, that surprised me. Also, of course, I said I talked about the cameras. The cameras on Pixel phones, for the most part, have always been great, high quality. You know, their Google, pro you know, their processing, um, the way they process photos has always been excellent. They give you a lot of ways you can edit your photos now, even more so with the A Pro. So I love the cameras on here. There's no question about that. You also, with this phone, I get great battery life. 5,000 milliamp hour battery, I could easily get a day and a half. Now, maybe if I turn down the brightness and all that, maybe I get two days. Maybe what I say with light usage, I, I can get two days, but... I'm a moderate to heavy user, so I get about a day and a half, which is still great to me. Performance, <clears throat> there's nothing to talk about when it comes to performance. This phone just works. It's fast. It's smooth. Now, I'm currently not using, um, excuse me, currently I'm not, I'm not using the, um, the, the, the stock, the, what do you call that? Google's interface, like I'm using um, Nova Launcher. Sorry, got tongue tied there. I'm using Nova Launcher because I want to be able to, you know, customize my phone the way I want. I didn't want that Google bar down here because I don't, I don't even use the Google bar. I don't. I hate it. It was on every time you go to another thing. It's on every page. I, I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. So I had to get rid of it. They had it. I couldn't put my wet my weather widget up here because they had a widget up here that you couldn't remove. So I'm like, forget that. I just won't use it. I don't need, you know, the Google feed. I don't care about that. I can just use. I got it right here. If I need to, um, where is it at? Okay, I don't have it on this one. I don't have it set up for this one. But I did have, you know, I could basically put a widget there and get all my you know, Google feed stuff, but I don't really use Google feed like that anyway. So, you know, I love this phone. It just works. Like I said, when it comes to performance, it's super fast, super smooth. And also the next thing, great software support. Now this one was getting four years. I know with the newer pixels now, um, Google's talking about seven years of updates. That's the, the most in the industry right now. So Samsung and the other ones, they got to step up their game because Google done went up to seven years. And the next and final thing about the Google phones is great AI. They have the grip, the best AI on any phone. Now, I'm not heavily into AI, so I don't use a lot of the AI things on this phone because most of the AI things on this phone are just not helpful to me. And I'm just speaking for myself. OK, but they may be helpful to you, but. I had to mention it because that's really what this phone is all about, that Google software. Next, let's talk about Asus. Now, that's the only gaming phone that I have. And I absolutely love this, this the phone. Great build quality. Great design. I love this design. Now, with the other Asus I've seen since this one, this is the ROG 5, the 6, and the 7. I don't like the design of those phones. I really don't. I like this one better. Um, excellent face unlock. This is probably the fastest face unlock that I have on any of my devices. I mean, the face unlock on here is ridiculous. I don't have it turned on at the moment, but the face unlock on here is ridiculously fast. <laughs> Fingerprint sensor, not so great. Not so great at all. The display is nice. 1080p display. Very gets nice and bright. The battery life on here is crazy. 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Two days easily, over nine and a half hours of screen on time for those that care about that. Super fast and smooth performance. You can go up to 144 hertz, which I use all the time. So just imagine if you use less than that, you'll probably get more battery life. But I'm, I, I look, if I could use something, I'm using it. I'm, I'm, I, I, I use all my phones in max performance mode. That's just how I do. So you can go from 144 uh, to 120 to 90 and then the 60 so you got options super fast smooth performance awesome dual front facing speakers the fit the speakers on here or on the front of the device right here and right up here 
These are by far the best speakers that I have out of all of these phones on the on the table. Mi 11 Ultra comes in second. Then I would say the Redmi Note 11 Pro comes in after that. And then the LG V60 and then everything after that. But these speakers on here <laughs> are crazy. Two amplifiers, DTX, H, you know, that sound, whatever. Headphone jack. I mean, I love this phone. Excellent audio when you plug in your headphone jack. This can, um, this can, um, you know, you can use high impedance headphones on here. It has a great DAC in here. And the cameras on here are good. Not great, but they're good. I like them. For a gaming phone, I never expected the cameras to be this good. Check out my full review on this device. And last but not certainly least, LG devices. Now, I don't really need to pull out the LG V60, everybody know. Now, I forgot to turn this on, but, don't, you know, just to save time, I'll just keep it moving. This is the LG Wing. And the thing I like about this is, of course, this. <laughs> I mean, this is just, that's just incredible, okay? But let me start from the beginning. Great build quality. Now, I got a case on here because it's easier to handle this with a case, but you take this little shell off, the build quality on this phone is so great. It's so smooth and feels so premium. You're not going to even want to put a case on it. But the reason why I put a case on because it, cause it's easy for me to, to handle it. And also, I like using kickstands. There is no, there's no way to hold this up, you know, with, without a case with a kickstand on it. So that's a big reason why. <coughs> the display on here is great. You get a 1080p display, which I absolutely love. Now, the thing that they messed up for me mostly is that they didn't give this phone no dual stereo speakers. That was disappointing. You're only getting one down firing speaker. I don't like that. But with the LG V60, you're getting dual stereo speakers. And they're some of the loudest speakers that I have out of all the um, phones that I have on this table. The speakers on the LG V60 is crazy. Okay. Now, when it comes to great audio, you're going to get mediocre audio out of the LG, v LG Wing. But out of the LG V60, you're getting a 32-bit hi-fi quad deck which is so awesome. I mean, it's crazy good. You know, it rivals that of the ROG 5 and also my Mi 11 Ultra when it comes to just overall audio. And of course, you know, the, RG, the ROG 5, the Mi 11 Ultra, and, um, and the Redmi Note 11 Pro, it rivals those. That's how good it is. Also, great cameras. So you're going to get great cameras on the LG wing and the lg v60 but the lg v60 cameras are better than the lg wing no question about it because that's a flagship phone this is not <clears throat> next innovation well i've already showed you innovation right here baby this is the only phone that i have that does anything like this you're never going to see nothing like this not never but more than likely you're not going to see nothing like this on the market anytime soon when you if you use this phone out in public and you do this in front of somebody they're going to be like, whoa, what kind of phone is that? Like, and and if you want to, like, set yourself apart from other people like me, that's why I have so many different phones. I don't want to have the same phone everybody else have. I want to be able to whip something out of my pocket and just be like, yeah, what's what? Hey, what's up? What? Like, I want to I want heads to turn. <laughs> so this is a head turner right here. OK, this is the only phone on this table that does that. Now I have a Z fold and all that. But this is just different. Like, this is different. So trust me when I tell you, you get this device and you can get it, you know, at a really dirt cheap price. This is a head turner right here. So in, when it comes to innovation, LG has always been a, a company that was not afraid to take chances when trying new stuff. Only thing about it, as so, soon as they got something that really worked, they didn't stick with it. You know, they changed it. So, of course, they're out of the smartphone, you know, game now. So it's unfortunate. But these are the last two great devices, in my opinion, the LG Wing and the LG V60. Also, something that you're not getting on any other uh, phone on this table, not even close. When it comes to expandable memory, two terabytes. So you can get two terabytes on this device, the LG and the LG Wing. And last but not least, you're going to get great performance out of this phone and the LG 
V60. So th these are the, these are all the reasons why I like using other devices from other manufacturers other than Samsung, because I'm getting a lot of things on here that I'm not getting on my Samsung device. Now, like I said, my Note 20 Ultra never comes out of my pocket, but I like you. I like versatility. I like using other things. I like having a phone that has faster charging speed, especially if I need my phone to charge in a pinch. If I'm, you know, forgot to charge it last night and I need to charge it within 30 minutes, I can do that with the Vivo. 30 minutes, I'm good. I'm at 100 percent. I mean, this is by far the fastest charging phone on this table. This is the fastest wireless charger charging phone with 67 watts. OK, all of these phones on this table got great cameras, not great cameras, except the ROG 5 good cameras. But every phone on here has great cameras. Well, I'll say that Redmi Note 11 too has good cameras. So these two has great cameras, everything else. Great cameras because <clears throat> all the rest of these phones are flag. This has, this has a flagship processor. So I guess all these are flagships except the Redmi Note 11 Pro. But game gaming phone, you're not going to get flagship cameras in a gaming phone at least not yet <clears throat> so this is the reason why i like variety i like versatility i like using different manufacturers because there's so much more out there and if you're if you're just stuck on just using one you're really missing out on a lot of great devices out there because there's so many out there that are really awesome and they offer a lot of uh great things that i think you would enjoy if you gave them a chance so thank you all for taking the time to view this content i do appreciate it I never said this was going to be a short one because it just can't be when I'm trying to explain as to why I like all of these <laughs> devices and manufacturers. So, but I hope you um, got to the end or got close to the end and I appreciate it. Um, I'll be announcing the winner, the winner of my, um, my three phone giveaway this week. If you took this long to, to get to the end of this video, I'll be getting in touch with the three winners this week. And then once I get in touch with all three winners, I'll make an announcement and then I'll try to get those phones to those individuals as quickly as possible before uh, the holiday gets here. Well, thank you all for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there staying safe, staying well, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.